Hello everyone, and thank you for joining me here. My name, of course, is Mr. Mocha Lover, and let's continue playing this absolutely ahistorical Russian SFSR country communist leader game led by Daddy Trotsky. So yeah, it's not not historical, but you know what? That's fine. I want to play a historical game with an ahistorical country, or at least an ahistorical destiny for this country in a historical setting. Regardless, uh, I did say last time I would try to coup the USA. And literally before I made this video, um, I tried it. Right now they're 52% communist, and I tried to launch a coup within New England, thinking that, you know, New England is a pretty solid area with a lot of different states in real life, like New Hampshire, Maine, Massachusetts, Connecticut, Rhode Island, and stuff like that. And they got about 9 million population, 20 out of 25 things used for slots. But let's just say when I tried a coup, it didn't go exactly according to plan for, I mean, the, the coup nation, the communist states of America got New England, they got New York, and New Jersey, as well as Michigan, Indiana, and Kentucky, and that was it. And then the communist states of America joined the Axis. So, I tried it, didn't come out the way I exactly wanted it to, but, so, f I'm not going to coup them right now because it was kind of a waste of time. It was kind of a waste at the moment, but, you know, that's okay. And someone did tell me, just wait and have the United States eventually become communist through their own accords, even though we're influencing them quite a bit, which is kind of going to lead me into the next uh, thing about the potential communist states of America. Because if they go communist, I saw that at least the coup nation was led by a guy named Earl Browder. <laughs> Earl Browder, man. Mm. Never heard of Earl Browder, especially not in an alternative alternate universe called Kaiser. I never heard of Earl Browder. Uh, but regardless, I'm joined here by my coffee, as well as my cat named Binky on my bed. Regardless, let's continue playing as the Russian FS SFSR and have a good time in the beginning months of, or beginning weeks of 1942. Looks like you guys could do some damage there. We're going to go ahead and try to push it back to the Germans a little bit. Last time, we had some tanks made, but... They're not very good tanks, because I decided to make them 40 width instead of 20 width, so they're pretty inexperienced at this point. Uh, regardless, though, I think we're doing pretty alright. I did notice some more of the comments, or at least whatever comments there were, and I really kind of liked the idea of, or the potential uh, possibilities that could have happened at the end of our World War II that Concentrated Honey uh, told me. Ooh, that's not good. Such as French annexation, or the French annexation of Libya, would have been interesting. Uh, of course, historically, the French wanted the Tsarland, but that's kind of, that's a little hard to do with the Tsarland being part of Moseland, and the Belgians, and the Dutch, and the Luxembourgish people also wanted more territory. So, I mean, I could see that the French would probably want all of the Rhineland, and they want to make it their own. But I don't think we're going to really let them do that with the Netherlands is currently getting taken out. I knew that the Dutch wanted a, a little bit of Vesser M's as well, but with the Road to 56 mod, you can't really do that without screwing up Germany a whole lot. And we're probably going to split Germany in half, or at least <clears throat> the German peoples, I'll say. Yeah, the German peoples. Because I might not let Austria live, because, you know, they're a bunch of inbred. Or at least the kings were kind of inbred a little bit, maybe slightly. And the German peoples, they might want some liberation. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Uh, and regarding more annexations across the world, the annexation of Manchuco, ooh, form industrial, additional industrial cities is great, uh, which was more building slots, I love it. Let's see, what else can we do here first before we move on? Recalibration of quotas is 35 days, just for research bonus, industrial research bonus, so be it. I will take out Manchuco eventually, probably hopefully annex them, as well as Mongolia, Tenutuva, Dictatorial Xinjiang, because that was kind of a historical goal of the... USSR in our timeline. Uh, let's see. This is part of... Does anyone have a claim on this? Mongolia? Huh. Did, does this... Mongol United Autonomous... That's it. Did Would this ever become part of Mongolia or just China? I want to say China. Hmm. But I do want to annex Mongolia. Dictatorial Xinjiang. Uh, Afghanistan. Oop. I guess Dictatorial Xinjiang just capitulated. I probably will annex... The Iranian Communist Authority. I've heard that the UK wanted to annex the Republic of Iraq, as well as southern Iran. 
Mm. And the Soviets obviously had lots of claims around Turkey, especially the coast, as well as I've heard, I did look it up from your co from your comment, that Bulgaria was thinking about being annexed or being having much more extreme closer ties to the Soviet Union and become a 16th Republic of the USSR in our timeline. Very interesting. Very, very interesting. Looks like we can't win here, which sucks. But, oh well. Just make sure you cover your bases. And it looks like the Dutch East Indies has joined the war as well. Alright, well, looks like we're not really winning here. So we might as well try a little harder then. Give me uh, information. We need more artillery. Alright then. Uh, carousel bombing, nice. More strategic bombing that we don't really use at the moment. Good, 1942. We're getting our air doctrine done pretty, pretty nicely. Pretty quick. Fighters are okay. Since I don't use fighters. Anything around here? Air focus. Ace generation chance. Air superiority mission efficiency. Uh, escorts. Fighter. Heavy fighter agility. Medium bomber strategic bombing. Uh, oh, wow. Air superiority mission efficiency plus 30%. Or more naval stuff. More organization. Naval air targeting from carriers. Capital ship armor. Hmm... Mm. And ha ha. Interesting stuff. 1942. And if we can, it's kind of cold in the areas we are fighting at. So I'm thinking we'll probably go with. Uh, where's. Do we have winter clothing? You know, improved winter clothing. I'm probably going to go right with us right now for a little more reconnaissance as well as a little more soft attack. I want to do as much damage as I can to the Germans. And you know what I'm going to do? I didn't think about this earlier, but I'm going to duplicate this. Rag infantry. With art. And we have a duplicate one down here. And I'm going to go ahead and convert some of my divisions to more artillery based divisions, which is increases soft attack by 46 and lowers everything else. Uh, organization goes down by about 16. Heart attack goes down by half. Defense goes down by 84, which is actually quite a bit. But uses way less manpower, way less guns, or a few less guns, but uses way more artillery. And quite a bit less HP. We're going to try it. But I'm not going to use all my infantry or switch all my infantry immediately over to um, that new type. Uh, actually, I don't want to change the Mountaineers because the Mountaineers are good enough. Change you guys to regular stuff. We get 42,000 manpower and quite a bit more uh, infantry equipment, which we don't really need. Go ahead and start converting stuff over. I really want to do an, a pretty devastating soft attack on... Our enemies, so that's really why I'm doing this. Stockpile of guns. Getting better. We definitely need more heavy tanks. Artillery. We'll see how our artillery supply has been hit once we're done here. Uh, as you can tell, I'm not really trying to attack anymore. Which is fine with me. Don't need any extra losses. Uh, but we could attack in some areas. Let's see, Vichy France last time tried to invade the Baltic states. And I, I will annex the Baltic Socialist... Union or state, whatever it's called, eventually. I definitely will. Um, let's see. Could you guys use some help maybe over here? Yeah, I'm also trying to help maybe a little bit. They have five divisions defending. We might be able to win. Maybe send you this. No, you can't reach that area. All right. Vasily, do you have anything for me? Nope. All right, then. Non-aggression pact with the Netherlands? Sure. What if I decided to go to war with Tenutuvo? Could I do that? Successfully. Hmm. What if I took off, like, oh, I don't know, this army and told them to surround Tanutuva to take them out? I don't think that they'll join anyone, and it only. There's a pretty small. Con oh. Oh no, Japan. Um, that would not be a smart idea, Japan. That really wouldn't. Sure. But if we go to war with Japan, that's fine. I don't really encounter too many problems with them, but we'll see what happens. Ah, oh, I gotta love coffee. Cool. Very cool. Hmm. Anywhere we can exploit? Any holes? Give me half of y'all. Give me all y'all. Y'all come here. Send half you guys this way as well. Stockpile. Still pretty good. What are we building? We're building a lot of infrastructure, which isn't bad, but we could use more rubber, obviously. Uh, oh, 100% infrastructure, yes please, and build one more thing somewhere else. 
More military factories sound like a fun thing to do. Hey, look. Yeah, I'm not going to bring that up. I don't want... Yeah, never mind. I, I saw something and I'm like, mm, I can make a joke about this. But I'm thinking, probably not. Probably not this time. Cool. Take half of y'all and do that. So it was... I think this guy... Yeah, your army's already filled out with a lot of artillery. No longer get the effects from, from industrial push. Seize Manchuria, which we will do eventually. Manchuria has to be fully independent for that return of Manchuria. Huh. Yeah, probably not going to do that. Yeah, not bad, not bad. Alright, we pushed. Nice. And we can go to war with Tanutuva. Uh... Our army still isn't even all the way over there yet. They're not being guaranteed by anybody. Uh, I actually might go to war with Mongolia as well, perhaps? Oh, recalibration of quotas. Nice. Localize quality control. I'm going to do that for more efficiency. Cap, it takes 70 days, takes a while. Under Trotsky's regime, uh, let's see. Under Stalin's tyrannical regime, quality of materials, equipment, and weapons could range from abysmal to barely effective at best. By dealing with each factory individually on a semi-annual basis and establishing standardized quality control access across the entire nation, we can ensure that the production is consistent in nature. Well, that sounds like a good idea. But then again, a lot of things sound like good ideas on paper. Like like capitalism, yeah, exactly. You know what I was going to talk about, right? That C word. The dastardly C word. They want to attack us, and we'll attack them right in the butt. Right? That's how it works. Uh, you guys help them out as well. Ace pilot promoted, a little more war support until the pilot dies. We've got another division here. Oh, it looks like this guy, Leonid, Leonid, has become a skilled staffer. Awesome. Really great. Maybe one division help attack here as well. Keep tiring them out, boys. Nothing like a tired out German army. Cool. Ah, send the Mountaineers this time. Cool. Stockpile is still going up. I'm actually going to probably start making quite a bit more heavy tanks. Put you up here. Lower the guns by just a little bit. About five. That's better. Hmm. That's okay. Artillery we have quite a bit of. Support equipment's not bad either. Motorized. We could probably use a little bit more. We'll do that. Leon Throsky questions the motives of Mongolian sovereignty. We've done advanced computing machine. And let's get some encryption. And we have unfulfilled import. Oh, come on, British Malaya. Just because you might be getting invaded by the Japanese doesn't mean you can't trade with me, right? Exactly. I'm going to trade with the Thai People's Republic because I didn't know they were a Thai People Republic. And are you communist? Yeah, you are communist. Since when? Um, I'm pretty sure this is on historical. I don't think they historically went communist. They're trying to crush the remaining capitalists. And they're trying to get next revolutionary Wamen, and then bring in the revolution to Asia. Hmm. Interesting. Very interesting. A little bit unexpected. Actually, pretty unexpected, but that's okay. Nice. It looks like it's about time for me to switch. Uh... I think I already converted this group over. Yeah, that'll be fine. Convert all of these guys, except for that one Mountaineer division. As well. Very nice. Yeah, go ahead and help move in as well. The Republicans, Spanish, down here have not capitulated yet, which is good. The German Reich must not have... Oh, well, they got some manpower. Italy is about a million manpower. Romania is, of course, still out, but they are on extensive conscription now. Earlier, they were on limited conscription. Hungary has a little bit of manpower. Slovakia is running out. Good, 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 good. Greece is holding very strongly. We have shock and all done for more soft attack and hard attack and artillery support. And we're done. Wow, we're done with our land auction. Holy cow. That's great. Uh, let's get some better artillery because... Oh. Wait, what? Portugal? Why do you want to join? You're authoritarian. Hmm. You're not communist. You are authoritarian. Yet you want to join my faction. At the current moment, we don't exactly need their help. But it'll look good if we invite them in for now. 
and then maybe over time make sure that they are communist as well and if we want to make them our puppet later we might have the op <coughs> option to yeah yeah so I mean sure why not the Republicans are in here and they're not our puppet we might as well add them in anyways right exactly cool good job go ahead and kick some booty you stay put and they've been called in yeah don't leave until this this battle here in the center has been finished first uh, let's see are we ready to go to war with Tanutuva yet go ahead when you can no one's allying with them we take our state and they join the god dang it of course they would they would join the axis because why not there's nothing wrong with Tanutuva joining the axis of course okay whatever war bonds I'm just thinking about what our next move is in terms of research and production with our political power or military staff or something like that all right Tanutuva is going to perish next up is Mongolia good 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 Ooh, someone's trying to fight to get to Königsberg a little bit faster but not exactly working out for them think about half you guys come over here help attack what are the German losses now? 2.3 million because of us. Not bad. Pretty good. The Republicans are close to capitulating, but with the addition of Portugal, that might help them out just a tad bit. Just a wee bit. Cool. Let's go ahead and push these guys in a little bit more. Something tells me that these enemy divisions are a little tired. Or not exactly up to snuff. Very good. Very good. And we go to war with Mongolia, but we haven't capitulated Tanutuva just yet. Ah, oh, look at this encirclement of no divisions. Alright guys, you can both go to Kizel. Kaisel, however you pronounce it. And Tanutuva has capitulated. Great. God dang it, just go ahead and move everyone over from Manchuria to take out Mongolia next. See what happens with them. We have a war justification goal on... Finland. We have two goal, war goals on Finland, and we have our goal against Mongolia until May 17th, and we have practical engineering done for more resource efficiency gain, as well as construction speed. I love it. Oh, we can do one of these. Factory output, or tank reliability. Well, tank reliability is already not terrible, so I'm probably going to go with factory output. Yeah, let's go with that. Let's get squared out a couple more things. Hopefully the Japanese don't attack me, but they're a little busy at the moment. Nice. Cool. Um, did we lose here? Maybe we lost. I don't know. Let's see. The Germans are really well dug in. But that's probably not enough for them to say no to me. Do we need more planes? Probably. Uh, we have a few... A hundred more heavy fighters to add in. Let's see. You don't have any heavy fighters, so you should probably get some. Let's see... You look like a prime group to attack that direction. Add a few more that direction. Alexander, do you have any upgrades? No, you disappointed me for the last time. I'm probably not going to come back to look at you. That's a complete lie. Anyways, missing equipment production. Fighters. Uh, where are my fighters at? I might as well just get rid of them. I don't care for fighters. Oh, we've got quite a few fighters. Heavy... F well, god dang it. You can't select all of them through here. Uh, heavy fighters. Oh, they're in Leningrad. And Tehran. Uh, yeah, I love how they're veterans, but really don't like fighters. I'm sorry. I discriminate very heavily against those who are fighters. Uh, you should not be doing that. You should be doing this. Sorry, guys. Don't really like fighters that much. I've pretty much become a heavy fighter uh, supremacist. I guess you could say that. Is that a bad word to say? That's probably a terrible word to say on YouTube at on this time. A, sup a supremacist. I'm a heavy fighter supremacist. Yeah. Plane f for plane. A heavy fighter is not going to work as well as a heavy... F as work as well as a regular fighter, but... Whatever. That's just the way I like to play. It just It's more convenient for me. Especially if you want to do global domination. Oh, someone invading? Uh, Republican Spain has invaded. It's not quite May yet. Uh, when you guys get there, just... Yeah, do whatever you want. I don't really care. 
going to choose a few more areas to strike at. Romania is still a little too strong. Uh, five sounds like fun. Four more added here sounds like fun. Yeah, our division's not doing super great. Um, going to convert you guys already to this. You guys are down in the Romanian border. If you can't win it or attack, that's fine. Let's just call it this guy's attacks off. Let's go ahead and... Well, go ahead and hold for now. You guys hold as well. We'll probably redeploy our front line too eventually. Oh, wait. We got enough political power for... 1942. Material designer probably is the best. Motorized rocket artillery. We get motorized rocket trees too, just so late that I don't ever put it on. This is going to go with more infantry stuff, which sounds good to me. You guys take all but, like, this guy. Help attack this area or something. Okay, never mind. Oh, we're really close to Königsberg. Ah, oh, love it. Love it. Anywhere else that could be used effectively. You guys, have you switched over yet? No, you've not. Deficit's occurring. That's fine. You guys go ahead and switch as well. Encryption is done. Let's get some decryption. And our ships. How are our, our ships? Well, we're making that. Right now, do we have... No, still okay. Good, good. Still good stuff. Really good stuff. Well, I love it. Early cruiser, cruiser, destroyer. Hmm, I need to research destroyers. Destroyers and light cruisers, please. Hmm. You guys, I'm sure I've already converted over. Yeah, that's fine. We got enough supply. No worries. No biggie. It's still April. You guys are pretty much ready to go. We're going to go ahead. They're going to join the Axis. As long as they don't join the Japanese faction. I'm okay with that. And they join the Axis. Nothing like a communist Mongolia joining the Axis. At least they didn't join the Japanese faction or the Allies. If they joined the Allies, I'd be in a kind of a more difficult situation. Since they're... But if that happened, I would have just attacked Finland anyways. Hmm. Nice, localized quality controls done. Awesome, awesome. State of perpetual warfare. Drastically reduced justify war goals this time. Sounds like a lot of fun. We're not quite done with our w war yet. We could use some nuclear technology. And more research speeds. Let's do that. Nothing but, like, so much research speed. I love it. I love researching stuff. Uh, I do want to attack here, though. Take this. Take you. Take you. Attack there. Take a few divisions, and attack here. Nice. Very good. Uh, we've got some pretty wide areas here. Pinsk? Sounds like a fun place to be. Can you help attack? You can. Good, you should. Uh, we got some more divisions on the Asian side of our country. Nice. And Mongolia is slowly getting crushed. See, this is what happens when you're not the right type of communist. See? You got to be the right communist, like like Lenin Dad. You got to be a Trotskyite, not a Marxist, Stalinist. You know, Lenin was okay, kind of crazy guy, but he was okay. But when Stalin came, he just screwed everything up. So, and we're trying to purge the world of Stalinists as well, because you know that that ideology, that version of communism, isn't real communism. Hmm. Seems like we could do some good damage here. Nice, you guys. Give me one division if you can. Spare. And go ahead and try to bop them. Bop, bop, bop. Not bad. Not bad. How is the world looking? Well, it looks like Portugal has tried something up here, but they might have lost some territory. Oh. Okay, well, Republican Spain is dead. Vichy France, uh, you gave the German Reich an oasis of land around Madrid, which is kind of odd. And our major, only major ally has fallen. Good luck, Portugal. I'm not sure why you joined the faction now, but you're going to need luck. A lot of luck. Maybe they joined the wrong faction. But not really. Uh, let's see. Well, we're doing okay with pushing, so we might as well continue. Taking back pits, bits and parts of Poland that uh, were justifiably, justifiably ours. Infiltration bombing is done. Very good. Thank you very much, guys. You're doing a great, tremendous job. Mm-hmm. Looks like we might need a little bit more radar. Building stuff up. 
More refineries, more dockyards, actually, that's good. And I need to research more naval stuff. More ships. Not necessarily naval doctrines, but ships, at least. Ah, uh, very good. Very, very good. Leningrad. Hmm. Alright, anywhere else they need to be converted? Up. Oh, I'm back to this guy. Up. Oh, this. Yes, he does. No additional equipment change. Nope. Oh, I've done very well with these guys. Yep. And then... Cool. Just take as much artillery as you need. Look at that stockpile. And it's going down slightly. Good. We got a lot of guns. We need definitely more motorized things, so actually... Let's put that at the top. And... We got plenty of guns at the moment. Medium bombers are good. Heavy fighters are pretty good. Uh, we're probably going to need actually a lot more heavy fighters. I mean a lot of heavy fighters. Good, good, good. Ravy Bink. Mm, getting up and stretching. Very nice. Very good. And... Alright, so we should be able to push somewhere here now, finally. Push through here, maybe. Perhaps, Pinsk. Maybe push over here, perhaps. Ooh, heavy firepower, I love it. Do that, do that. You guys might be able to do a little bit of damage on this part of the front. Nice, heavy damage, more hard attack. Love it hard. 1942. Hmm. It's okay stuff. Nuclear attack is 1943 stuff. I did say I want to do more naval stuff, so let's get a better destroyer. We do have some air superiority in various locations. German losses, 4.41. God, I really wish we had, like, an espionage thing in this game or something, you know. Something that makes it a little bit more questionable in terms of enemy strength. Oh my gosh, they went Portugal, holy crap. Oh, they still have Lisbon for now, but not for long. Holy cow. I really wish there was an espionage part of this game. Maybe someday. Maybe someday. Can you get... Can you go... Oh, oh, they got the Netherlands. You can attack there. Take you guys. Up attack up here as well. Yeah, leaving it to our allies. Not a great idea. God, can you stop attacking? I want to attack. No. Uh, you know what? We can probably maybe attack this direction, actually. Maybe cut off Königsberg, perhaps? Maybe? Maybe not? Maybe? No? Okay. Well, that's okay. That's definitely okay. Just keep doing what we have been doing. Bopping them in all the right places. Go ahead and hold for now. I don't want anyone moving the line too much. You guys come up here. Uh, I really want to take this spot out. This is kind of disgusting. They have 11 divisions here, but we might be winning, might be losing. I think we're winning. If these guys are walking away in shame and defeat. Look at that. Their faces, they're pointed down. We won. Nice. Good job, guys. And there goes our most recent ally. How's Mongolia not died yet? Alright, guys. I'm calling an audible. Go ham. Oh, do you have a thing over here? Offensive doctrine? Sure. You're an unyielding defender, but you're very good on the offense. Interesting. Nice, we got this position as well. And actually, we gotta pretty much at this point rearrange our front lines. Because, oh. Oh yeah, expert delegator. Now he's only 8 out of 7. Yay! Go ahead and reorganize our front line. We might cause a hole in the line or just a really weak part of the line or something. But I think it's time to reorganize this because it's kind of disgusting. Cool. Do want to break across into Romania though. That is a goal. I do want to cut off Königsberg, though. That'll be fun. Can you maybe do that? They have five divisions. We're attacking with five. We do have artillery here. They're trying to stack in more. Oh, the Thai People's Republic seeks to join the Proletariat Mutual Assistance Pact. The Thai People's Republic has recognized that she must band together with fellow socialist republics to strengthen the place of communism in the world. Accepting our leading role in the international plight of the worker, the Siamese now request to formally enter into an alliance with us. 
Absolutely. If we stand together, a revolution cannot but prevail. Love it. We actually have a friend in the world. Can you believe that? An actual friend. Oh, okay. I didn't ask. I didn't want to ask him to join yet, but you know, if you really want to, so be it. Wait. Ah, oh, Portugal has cells are colony down here. Hmm. Communist colony. But then Portugal's not really communist. Oh, we actually did win over here. Uh, go ahead and push this direction then. All right, so we won. We cut Königsberg off, and this is probably going to be called the Königsberg Pocket, actually. Even though they they are still getting supplies through the Baltic Sea. Uh, oh yeah, more defense sounds like a good idea. And I will end the episode soon. Cool, great works, nice. More factory output plus fifteen percent. I love it. Uh, it's 1942. I should have got guns a little earlier, but whatever. Go ahead and come in as well. You might as well help out as well. Nice, we got the artillery done. Ooh. Ooh. Armor is fine for now. Let's get some more logistic companies, just in case. Things get a little too thick. Too thick and heavy for us. Nice. More artillery, support equipment. Infantry equipment. Go ahead and upgrade whatever we need. Looks like some French divisions are over here. Uh... Come on, guys. Get in there. We have low manpower, even though we have a million in reserve, as the Axis are still trying to push us back, but nothing, of course, is really going on with them. Except we got more and more divisions. I love it. Take half you guys. Attack this way. As they're attacking us, they can't really do their job very well if we're attacking them right in the butt. Nice. Pretty good, pretty good. Take about half you guys, maybe attack this direction. Take half of you guys, attack that direction. Hmm. Oh, come on. Please. How long is this going to take? I might just have to push him out of Königsberg. Hold on. Just push him out this way. And take one Mountaineer from this group. Come this way. If we can push out Königsberg... Then this will be a definite pocket. Ooh, Dutch East Indies has capitulated. Awesome. 342. Cool. Get the SG, whatever this is. SG 43, Goryunov, and 120 PM 43. Hmm. Alright then. Very good. They're attacking us. Coming back. Doing, having a great time. Take me, Give me half of these guys. Help attack this way. Give me two, two of you guys. Attack this way. They're probably actually not going to win there, but whatever. Uh, not bad, not bad. Ooh. This looks like a fun place to attack. Vyatstolsk. Something like that. Rocket experiments. Laboratory number two, please. Thank you very much. And we're building a lot of infrastructure. Wow, we need a lot more aluminum and rubber. So, do that. We'll do that. Continue building up more refineries instead of factories. And we're taking Königsberg. Can we finally beat these guys? Come on. S please. Please. We took Königsberg. The pride of P Prussia has fallen. Nice. And these divisions, all eight of these, are going to probably not exist in a few seconds. Um. Come on. I know th that my puppet, bless his heart, the Baltic Socialist Republic... They're trying their hardest to try to not lose and try to win a battle, but, ooh, that took forever. Nice. And before we're done here, let's just make sure that we actually have... Yeah, that's good. Awesome. And that will be this episode today. So, what have we accomplished, guys? Well, we've obviously just taken uh, the capital jewel of Prussia. Our allies have fallen, but we did gain an ally in the east, and we are... God dang it, trying to take out... Mongolia, but it's not exactly working as well as I had hoped. But regardless, I hope you enjoyed this episode, guys. Leave a like if you did. Subscribe if you're new. Uh, and I will see you tomorrow as we continue to cause a lot more casualties to the Axis. Thanks for watching.